Welcome to another Mailbag Monday. Off to a good start here, I see. Hmm. So while that settles, this is Grandpa's Sweater Oatmeal Stout from Barnhammer Brewing in Winnipeg. Uh, I've had this one before and I think I've shared it on, on here before. I really like it. It's... Uh, it's just a nice, easy drinking stout. Oh, and would you look at the cascade, the bubble cascade. Oh, isn't that just beautiful? But that aside, I guess we better get into what this mailbag's really all about. The mail. Oh, while well, that's settling itself down, and that, I must say that is a fairly excellent head. It's a little excessive, but it's holding its head well. Like that. Um, so, first actual mailbag thing. Electrical testing equipment. Quantity 1. Oh. Okay, it's uh, a different variant on those Wago lever nut connectors. Um, these ones here, which I've been using fairly constantly actually on my little power supply. This is a slightly different kind. Ah, so these ones, they lift up and hold while you're putting your wire in and out and then click down. These ones seem to just come up while you're working with it and then drop down. Let me see if I can find, um, let's use some of this super lightweight wire here. So pull that up. It doesn't take much to hold it once it's up. Shove them in, clamp it down. That's solid. I mean, that's really solid. Well, that's good. Let's try it with a higher gauge wire. Let's try it with, what is this? Uh, lamp cord. Well, that's solidly clamped into there too. Oh, you can actually see through the back. Looks like way at the back there is where it makes its contact. Okay. So then I shoves my wire way to the back. And there it is actually touching the back. You see it there? And then I clamp down and that's making a good contact. Okay. So the insulation can go all the way in there. That's cool. And I just... What, they get a package of five of those? Uh, just to play with them, I guess. See how they compare against these ones. Five pieces, two slash three slash five way reusable spring lever, terminal block electric cable connector wire. I got the three way and it is five pieces and they are those ones. This came from ZZY9990. Um, I did not pay $50 shipping. It was free shipping when I bought them. That's shocking to see. Uh, I paid $1.67 for the five of them with free shipping. Let's pretend that I didn't just open this with the camera paused, shall we? Gee, I wonder what's inside. It says LED patch. <gasps> it's a bag of LEDs that were somehow inexplicably open and I just dropped some on the floor. That's okay. Um, well, that's kind of thrown me off my game. Am I still recording? Did I? Okay, good. So let's. Uh, there we go. Oh, that's kind of bluey or purpley or something. Hang on here. You tell me and my old colorblind eyes what that is. Is that blue or purple or is it? impersonating ultraviolet maybe 50 pieces f55 millimeter round ultraviolet led uv light 390 to 395 nanometers purple lamp mf from module fans i did pay a dollar 75 and again i didn't pay shipping it was free shipping when i ordered it so this is i don't know what's happened uh that's two in a row that seem to have shipping. Maybe it's because it's limited quantity remaining that they've uh, banged. 
uh, shipping fees onto it for now. I'm not sure. Anyway, if you search around for these keywords up here and limit your ship your search to free shipping, you'll find them. Kind of like this. I just pasted the uh, the majority of that uh, search term in there, clicked on free shipping, and there we go. Uh, somebody else got a buck seventy six for the same for the same fifty pieces, or somebody else has dollar eighty three with free shipping. You know, you can find them. It doesn't take that much effort. You don't have to buy it from the guy that I bought it from, especially since he slept on shipping charges. That's just not right when there's so many others with free shipping okay camera on check beer not spilling check package check it says led o light okay that is entirely reasonable and it is a singular cob led a big one with some and a bridge let's get any closer so you can see up there it says ac 110 volts alive in a neutral over here we've got a bridge rectifier a zero ohm resistor aka a wire e capacitor another a little resistor over here i can't read until i zoom in and an eight pin chip so um i'm pretty confident this is one of those direct AC powered uh, LED cobs that Big Clive was playing with a while ago. He was playing with some that had uh, that were obviously 220 because being on that side of the ocean, that's the voltage that there uh, that comes out of the hole in the wall. Um, but this being me in North America, I ordered a 110 volt one, and well, obviously I'm going to try it. I am in fact finished soldering. It's scabby soldering, but it's soldering nonetheless. I had to bring out, break out the larger iron, the 35 watt non temperature controlled iron. The, uh, this little guy here just wasn't cutting it. As soon as I touched it to that circuit board, that aluminum backed heat sink built in kind of circuit board, it just froze. Uh, even with this thing, I had to just kind of gob it on there. It wasn't pretty, but it's on there. And I've got this guy just sort of taped down so that it doesn't escape and try and kill us all. So let's plug it in and see what happens. Shields up. Oh man, that is blinding. Um, that's, yeah, let me just shut that off. Wow. That's I'm gonna find some kind of sunglasses for you guys. Um, okay, there's two layers of anti-static bag. Let's damn it, that's even bright. Um but yes it is it is bright. That makes sense to be 20 watts of LEDs. What's it feel like? It's getting fairly warm already not crazy hot yet but obviously wouldn't want to run that without it being on some sort of a heat sink but yeah wow that's crazy bright and i think this is the one i ordered a couple of similar ones but i think this is and this one has some choices too but i think this is it 110 volt 220 volt led floodlight 2030 50 watt cool or warm white cob chip smart ic driver lamp uh from BBKHK008 underscore nine. You know, one of those names that just rolls right off the tongue. At the moment, it says does not ship to Canada. That's probably because the post office is on strike right now. I received this one a while ago and I ordered it even longer ago. Um, oh, I haven't been telling you about that. Uh, yeah, this one took about three months to get here. I'll do the math and... Uh, and included at the end but yeah it, it took a while um i did in fact pay two dollars and five cents canadian for it and i'm pretty sure i got the 20 watt and cool white option so what do we have to say about it down here color rendering ra80 okay cri maybe uh so not great 90 and above is pretty good uh 20 30 50 watts uh 
quite cool white, I guess, a 6,6500 Kelvin, probably what I ordered. Uh, and warm white would be 28 to 3200. Beam 180 degrees, lifespan 10,000 hours. Um, it's aluminum housing. Uh, yeah, it's an aluminum backed heat sink or aluminum backed uh, uh, circuit board. And to connect directly to 110 or 220 volts, depending on which one you bought. Okay, space has been made. I have been refreshed. Next thing in is LED light. That looks a lot like the previous package. But it doesn't feel quite the same. Oh, that's because there's, wait, there's three of them in there. Oh, <laughs> okay. So obviously these two, since they're panelized, are going to be the same thing as each other. This one has four of these chips on the side here. These ones each have two. So that they get brighter ones? <sighs> okay, well, I guess I'll have to do this again. So now, since I want to test all three of these, uh, because now I don't know what I got exactly, um, I'm about to get sketchy here. So if you're allergic to sketchy, dangerous electronics, electrical stuff, please avert your eyes. Okay, for those of you that are left, I'm doing this as safely as I can. Um, I've, st I've still got my connection, my neutral connection soldered on there. I've taken the live connection off, put it through one of these terminal blocks that I just got, which I assure you are properly rated for the voltage. They are in fact capable of 450 volts at 32 amps. So that's not too sketchy. I've got, then I'm going through my meter. I'm using my good meter with the good leads, not uh, that one, which isn't cat anything rated. Um, what else? Okay, I've got a, a switch on the power bar, so it's off right now, and I'll just turn it on only when we're playing. So, uh, I will turn the switch on now. This is live. I will touch that briefly there, get a hold, and turn it off. Okay, we're safe. So, 156 milliamps out of that. Today's voltage is 123. 123 volts times 0.1567 goes 19.2 watts. So that one's not lying to us. It's essentially a 20 watt. Cool. 20 watt cool white. I need a better Sharpie. Okay, now then I'll just do, quickly desolder that soldered onto one of those other ones. Hopefully it's not so ugly to do and we'll just test all of them. Okay, here's one of the ones that has two of these driver chips. So if that was 20 watts with one, two driver chips, the options were 20, 30, and 50. So two driver chips is probably 30 and four driver chips is probably 50. But we'll try it. So uh, power on and contact. That also looks like cool white. I'll hold that. 251 milliamps. 123 volts times 0.2519 amps is in fact 30 watt. Wow, just a hair over 30 watts. 30 watt cool white. And I'm going to guess this guy's 50, but we'll just check it anyway. Power on, contact, stupidly bright. I'm shielding you from it, but there you go. It's obviously cool white. Hold, blink a couple of times. That says 545 milliamps. Power that off. Ow! That's actually hot. How long was that on for? Not you know, seconds. And that's hot to the touch on the back. Wow. 123 volts 
multiplied by 0.5452. Where's the equal button? 67 watts. Wow, that's even hotter than it was uh, promised to be. That's performance. So, which one is that? That is this one down here. When we go to show extra, it just goes to a whole bunch. But there's your search term. Uh, 50 watt white uh, smart IC LED cob blah 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 any of these things I guess I'll just link to this uh, search here and you guys can carry on from there if you choose to now that I can't see anymore let's uh, let's open the next one um, digital voltmeter module it says that's neat I wonder I think I ordered some more of those little that's not a digital voltmeter module at all. That is a soldering kit. Oh, -ho! and I think it's one that I was hoping would arrive sometime before now. It's a Christmas tree soldering kit. <laughs> so those guys, yeah, you get the idea. So you got two tree shaped circuit boards, an A and a B, and a bag of LEDs. One, two, three, four different values of resistors. Another circuit board for the base. Some components. A uh, bunch of transistors, bunch of capacitors, power switch, nuts and bolts. Three AA battery box. And if you don't want to do that, we have a USB power cord with an itsy bitsy teeny weeny plug on it is the meat for that in there oh it is too okay well that should be fun and clearly i'm going to be doing this in the next month um because that's why i ordered it diy 3d christmas kit flashing light led circuit 3 slash 7 colors christmas tree gift m module fans five dollars and 76 cents is what i paid for it i think was it it's pretty close anyway um i again i didn't pay 25 dollars shipping i in fact paid free shipping and yeah there was the actual price 443 american so it's actually gone down a hair three slash seven colors and i ordered the seven colors one yes i did are there any instructions there's only one bag of leds and they weren't separated out so that looks like the three color one yeah and it's got you know you can actually see that they're red green and yellow leds the seven color one though they look all the same hmm that's interesting where are we here? Bah, 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 bah. Okay, there's no instructions or anything, but that's fine. We don't need that. Let's go back to those LEDs and see what kind of magical LEDs those are. Um, oscillation circuit from... Okay. Okay, so there's just a three pairs of transistors and capacitors charging and it's just a ring oscillator basically i think we'll find out when we do it so about these leds what are they that we're getting seven colors out of them now this doesn't no there's no uh no way that these are just chain reverse biasing and forward biasing are they but that would only give you two colors or three if they put an ac across them but i don't think it's a fancy enough circuit to do that can we see down inside this led so there's what this led looks like and there's stuff going on in there see the little chip on the left side and some bond wires going here and there can't really see too well through its lens but just 
make note of that. Now here is a normal LED. There's just the two pieces of metalwork coming up and the little chip and a single bond wire in between there. So obviously there's something special happening inside there. Let's just see what happens when we give it some power. Oh, it's a slow flash color changing LED. Wait, now it's a fast flash color changing LED. And now it's back to slow. I've never seen these on eBay, but I have seen them in one other place. And these things from the dollar store. I ripped one apart a while ago, not on camera, uh, sadly, but uh, let's just, well, there's the LED out of it. And let's just power this guy up from this lithium battery here, three volt CR2032. There you see it's doing the same thing, slow flashing for a while. And then away she goes, blinky flashing. Do that for a bit, and then it should go back to slow again. There we go. So that's kind of neat. I don't know, I haven't seen, like I said, I haven't seen those particular LEDs on eBay just as a standalone item. But obviously they exist, otherwise this kit wouldn't have them. I don't know whether I want a bunch of standalones of those or not. They're a little bit garish when they get rocking and rolling there. I don't know. Anyway, something fun to play with. And as I mentioned earlier, a kit build coming real soon to a channel near you. Okay, there is all the stuff from this mailbag. I guess I should go over the uh, the time, the shipping times, because I keep forgetting to do that when I'm actually talking about the things. The Christmas tree kit took six weeks to get here. The bag of purpley pseudo ultraviolet LEDs took 57 days. These lever lock pseudo Waco, Wago kind of things, they're not actually Wago brand, but they're kind of a ripoff of that. They took 72 days. And these LEDs, I ordered all, th I ordered three separate orders. I ordered them all on the same day and I ordered them from what I thought was separate sellers, but they all turned out to come from the same seller. And they all took exactly three months and two days to get here. Again, a wide variety of timings. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I um, hope I didn't blind you too badly or offend you. Oh, and I really apologize for the alcohol abuse at the beginning. I'll try really hard not to let that happen again. That's just not called for. Thanks everybody for watching. Um, down in the comments section, as usual, if you want to talk about any of this stuff, um, but please don't beat me up too bad, even though I deserve it for spilling my beer. That's just so wrong. Um, thanks as always for these mailbags to my generous Patreon supporters. There's not too many of you. I'm glad to have you guys on board. Um, you make it a lot easier for me to be able to afford to buy all this stuff and show it to everybody. So thank you as always. And to the rest of you and everybody, thanks for watching. I will talk to you again.